All right, so in this video, I want to express sine 3x just in terms of sine x over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break down sine 3x into sine of 2x plus x. And now I can use my addition formula to split this. So this is just going to be sine 2x cos x plus sine x cos 2x. I can split sine 2x using my double angle formula into 2 sine x cos x, and then I have another cos x over here. And over here, I want to split cos 2x into 1 minus 2 sine squared x, because this is the only formula that does not have a cos over here. That's why I'm using this from the three cos formulas. Next, I can do cos times cos is cos squared. And here I can expand this bracket. So that's just sine x minus two sine cubed x. You can convert cos squared x into one minus sine squared x using my trig identity. And I can multiply this into this bracket. And finally, I'm going to combine like terms. So 2 sine x plus sine x is 3 sine x. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 sine cube x. And this is my final solution of what sine 3x is in terms of sine x. Let's take a look at the second example. In the second example, we want to do it for cos. Oops, don't need the bracket, cos 3x, and this is in terms of cos x. So we want to express cos 3x in terms of cos x. So steps are pretty much the same, not exactly, but we're going to start by splitting this into cos 2x plus x. Then we can use our addition formula for cos. So that's cos 2x, cos x, minus sine 2x, sine x, cos 2x, I'm going to write the cos x first, and then I'm going to split cos 2x into 2 cos square x minus 1, because this is the only cos equation that does not have a sine. And sine 2x is just 2 sine x cos x times the sine x at the end. Then I want to multiply this into the bracket. So I'll get 2 cos cube x minus cos x, and here I'll have minus sine times sine, sine squared x, and cos x. Then I'm going to replace the sine squared x with 1 minus cos squared x. So I have 2 cos cube x minus cos x minus, over here I'm going to write the 2 cos x first, and then I'll replace the sine squared x with 1 minus cos square x, and then I'll just multiply this into this bracket. That's going to be minus 2 cos x plus 2 cos cube x, and then I'll finally combine like terms. So 2 cos plus 2 cos cube is 4 cos cube x, and if I combine these two, it's negative 3 cos x. For example, again, very similar, we have tan 3x, and we want to represent this in terms of tan x. So similar idea, we are breaking this into tan of 2x plus x, which is simply tan 2x plus tan x divided by 1 minus tan 2x tan x, then we want to simplify tan 2x. So we know using a double angle formula, tan 2x can be replaced with 2 tan x over 1 minus 
tan squared x. I'm going to do that on the bottom here as well. 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. I guess I don't need the bracket there. I can do an overall bracket. And this is times tan x. Now we just have to simplify this whole thing over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply one minus tan square on the top and bottom here to create common denominator. So I have two tan x plus tan x times one minus tan square x. And this is all divided by a common denominator of one minus tan square x. And all of this is divided by this over here, which I'm going to simplify. I'm just going to multiply two tan times tan. It's going to be one minus two tan square x divided by, oops, the divider is not for the one. It's only for this term over here, one minus tan square x. Next, I'm going to expand this top over here. 2 tan x plus tan x minus tan cubed x. I'm going to leave the denominator the same, 1 minus tan square x. And then in the bottom here, I'm going to create a common denominator by multiplying this on the top and bottom over here. That just becomes 1 minus tan square x because 1 times the denominator is just that minus two tan square x. Now we have a common denominator over one minus tan square x. So when you have two fractions, if you're good with fractions, you know that if you have a denominator on the top, you have a denominator on the bottom, these two just cancel off. So we're just left with this divided by this. You are basically, I'm gonna combine like terms over here. That is just, 3 tan x minus tan cube x. And I'll combine like terms over here, which is 1 minus 3 tan cube x. Oops, not cubed, squared. So these will give you negative 3. And then this cannot be simplified further. So this is my final solution for this question. And fourth and final question, let's see if I can squeeze it in over here. Probably write it a bit small. We have to express cos 4x in terms of cos x. Slightly different, but still gonna be a similar method. Let's see if, I think I should be able to squeeze this in this half of the paper. I'm going to break down cos 4x into cos of 2x plus 2x. Now I'll use my addition formula for cos. So I have cos 2x, cos 2x minus sine 2x, sine 2x. I'm going to flip these into two cos square x minus one because I don't want any signs over there. And this, I have no choice. I have to flip it into two sine x cos x times two sine x cos x. I'm going to foil out these two brackets. So that's gonna be four cos four x minus two cos square x minus two cos square x plus one. And if I multiply these two, I'll get minus four sine square x cos square x. I'll combine these two like terms over here. There's four cos four x minus four cos square x plus one. Over here, I'll convert this sine square into one minus cos square. So I'll write the negative four cos square x first, and then I'll write the sine square as one minus cos square x. And I want to distribute this into this bracket.
So this becomes negative four cos square x plus four cos four x. And then I want to combine like terms. Four plus four cos four is eight cos four x. Negative four minus four is negative eight cos square x. And then I just have a plus one and that is my final solution.